So continuing the season review series today, we are heading up to Boston to take a look at the Boston Bruins. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL and the rest of this season review series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the Boston Bruins. So the Boston Bruins went to the Stanley Cup final last season, obviously lost to the St. Louis Blues at home there at TD Garden to watch the St. Louis Blues lift the cup in Boston, which was disappointing for the Boston Bruins, but the future still looks pretty solid for this Boston Bruins team. It seems like they have the right coaching staff. It seems like they have the right group of players, and they do have a lot of some of their, you know, a lot of their guys are starting to get older now. Guys like uh, Patrice Bergeron, Zdeno Chara, but the young group that is coming in here in Boston looks pretty solid as well, and not to mention you've still got plenty of years left with Tuka Rask seems like they still have a group there that is destined to win. They still have that window. It will be definitely open uh, next season as well. And they still have a chance in this year's playoffs as well. So taking a look at the record, the goals for, the goals against, as well as the top point producers and the rookie guys for this young Boston Bruins team. So we're going to start things off. Goals for and goals against. Goals for 227 goals for this season. That is ninth best in the NHL. Now, this is the big one here. The goals against 174 goals against this season. That is the best in the NHL. That is first. So the Boston Bruins have done a very good job of keeping the puck out of their own net. A lot of that has to do with the mentality of keep, you know, you gotta you gotta be able to play in your own end to get the puck out, and then you can do whatever. They've got the talent to score goals, go up and down the ice with the best teams in the league. They have that ability, but their defensive structure is very solid there in Boston. Not to mention, they probably have one of, if not the best goaltending tandem in the NHL with Tuka Rask and Yaroslav Halak, who they just re-signed uh, to an extension in Halak. So a great job there by the Boston Bruins. Their record this season, definitely uh, pretty solid for the Boston Bruins. 44, 14, and 12. 100 points on the season for the Boston Bruins, and not to mention there were still 20 games left in the NHL season. So the Boston Bruins were on pace for another very solid season, uh, pretty much like they did last season. I mean, this is a Boston Bruins team that just, the mentality is, is to always succeed, and they have been a very solid hockey team throughout most of the last two decades, really, at this point. The Boston Bruins have been very solid, and they definitely... Uh, have the star power to do what they continue to do. Looking at the top point producers here in Boston, you've got David Krejci, 43 points for Krejci. Tori Krug, 49 points on the season for Krug. Patrice Bergeron, 56 points. Brad Marchand, 87 points. And leading the way is David Pasternak with 95 points on the season. So the Boston Bruins, no surprises here. They are very solid this year. There's no question Pasternak, Marchand, and Bergeron, that top line, it, the perfection line, it is such a good line. And they've had so much success and a huge reason the Boston Bruins have been where they have been. Uh, looking at some of the young guys here on this Boston Bruins team, Charlie Ma McAvoy, he's still only 23 years old. You've, you've got Jeremy Lazan, Trent Frederick, and John Beecher in the system as well. You also have guys like Euro Vakainen, uh, who are going to hopefully come, and, come in and develop over the next couple of years as well. The Boston Bruins have a very solid a group of young guys in their system and guys that are already playing in the NHL like Charlie McAvoy. The Boston Bruins have done a very solid job at building their team and they continue to do that here. Despite all the winning they do, they you know with their mid-round draft picks, they're able to hit a lot of home runs and that's been huge for the Boston Bruins and they find that success. Uh, will they continue with that here in the playoffs? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Boston Bruins, are, are they're one of the best franchises, the most stable franchises in the NHL. Uh, just the culture up there, the way they play, they continue to keep that. Even with the game going more into a speed game, they continue to have that tough, hard-nosed, blue-collar game uh, You know, for fans to watch every night. And the Boston Bruins are a, an, a perfect example of a team uh, to try and replicate what they do if you want to be a stable franchise. That is the name for the Boston Bruins. So that is it for this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, you want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.